Hi, Gina here, and today I'm going to show you how to remake a lead page in Divi. So this is one of my lead pages, and it doesn't match the rest of my website. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new page for my packages and services. So let's go to WordPress. I'm going to go to my dashboard and open this in a new tab. And so I'm just going to go to Pages and go to Add New. And I'm going to start a new services page with the Divi Builder. So I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder. And it's loading right here. And I'm going to choose a pre-made layout. So let's browse the layouts. And I worked with one of the testimonial personal stylist pages previously. So I'm just going to look to see if they have a services page. And they do. So this is it. And I'm just going to go to use this layout. So that may take a little bit of time to load. And I had already copied some of my packages wording here on my home page with Divi right here. And so these are expandable now and I may not want to use the same wording again so I'll make that decision as I'm working with this new layout so the layouts loaded I'm just going to go ahead and publish it so I can see this on the front end so we'll publish it what's nice about Divi is that you can choose a layout that is a different topic than what it ends up being on your site. So let's view this page in the new tab. And so even though this is a personal stylist layout, I'm not going to necessarily be a personal stylist to use it. So here is the Divi page and I'm just going to start making changes. We're going to enable the visual builder Divi allows you to edit in the Divi Builder and also in the Visual Builder. So this doesn't apply to me and my business, so I'm going to just change it. We're going to say Tech Coaching Online Course Launches and Social Media Management. Okay, so this is quite different than the other page that I was working with. So let's just start updating this the best I can. So I do have a package link right here. So let's copy the link address and we're going to update it over here on the contact button. So Let's paste it right here. It's going to go into a new tab and I'm going to say Calendly. And let's save that. All right, and then to save this whole page, I'm going to go to the bottom purple area and save. So this is interesting that they're all toggles. So let's go ahead and look at the packages. So online course launches, list building I still do, tech coaching I do, social media I still do. So let's go ahead. I've used this sentence elsewhere on the site. And I have testimonials elsewhere as well. So let's go ahead and just start with online product launches. 
And so let's go to the services page and edit this. So your online courses and I'll just say programs and services. Online launches. I'll just put launches. And let's go to copy this and I may decide I may want to change this later I'm just going to to put this here and maybe I want to have this wording here place I'm going to use plain text and we're going to say First launch and let's go back here. I prefer to use the visual builder just because it's easier for me to find the sections, but it's up to you how you edit. Done for you packages. Done for you packages. So what you'll learn, don't know if I have, we'll just say hmm. I'm going to copy this list building. And I may go over the other sections of the website later if there's any redundancy. So plain text. I'm going to put list building right here and list building right here. And maybe it needs to be capitalized. And pricing. Let's go to pricing down here. And let's go to plain text. Okay, so pricing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and update the rest of the items on this page. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to look for some images on Unsplash that reflect these types of services. So I'm just going to check and I'm just going to say online products. So maybe I'll find one of these images that I like and I'll go ahead and insert them here. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day.